Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module 6 of second grade. Name first, please. And pair the objects to decide if the number of objects is even. Pairing objects means circling them in groups of two for this. So a pair is always a group of two. So I'm going to circle groups of two. And the rule is if everything has a partner or can be paired up, then it is even. And if there's an odd man left out, then it's not even. So if there's a single one that doesn't have a partner, then it's not even. So it's going to be two, 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 two. And there's one here. This guy has no partner, so it's not even. two 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 and you can circle them any way you want as long as they just have two in each group and they all they're all paired up so they're even draw to continue the pattern of the pairs in the spaces below until you have drawn zero pairs so this has one two three four five six seven eight nine <clears throat> nine rows of two and this has one less, so this is nine rows of two. This is eight rows of two. So the next one's going to have seven rows of two. And if you really want to draw tiny hearts, you can. If it's too hard to draw them in tiny hearts in rows like this, then you could, you could really you could just draw circles. And we'll take it. And just remember that this one's, you're going to stop at seven there because it has to be one row short. And try and keep them the same size as the ones here in the example. I'm going to blow this up a little bit because it's going to make it easier for me to draw. That's seven. So this is going to have six rows. It's four rows, five rows, six rows, and it should look it should look like it's a row shorter. Five. If you can, you know, the picture doesn't have to be perfect. It's just especially if you have a hard time drawing tiny hearts, just draw circles instead. It's better to have it come out with the right number of rows. One, two, three, four, five. And now this one has four rows of two. There's three rows. That's four rows. Now this one has only three rows. One, two, three pairs two so we should have only two pairs that's one pair and that's two pairs so a row of two is a pair and here's one so just one pair and zero done write the number of hearts in each array in problem two in order from greatest to least so that's going back to problem two, which is this one here, drawing all the hearts. And write the number of hearts in each array from greatest to least. So that's the order that, right, because they keep getting smaller as we go this way. So the greatest number is here. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So we start with 18. And then the next one's going to be smaller. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And you might already know how to do this. You might not have to go back and forth to, to count them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And you can see what we're doing now, hopefully, that we're counting backwards by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 
and then 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Circle the array in problem 2 that has two columns of 6. So I'm going back here. Which one has two columns of 6? Well, I labeled them, right? So that's pretty easy to find. Two columns of 6. And if you can count if you want, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each column. So got that one done. And now box the array in problem 2 that has two columns of 8. So that's going to be this one here, boxed. That one's done. Redraw the set of stars as columns of two or two equal rows. Columns of two or two equal rows. So let's see how many, we need to know how many rows to have or how many pairs we have, right? So let's see. First what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle these in pairs. And then count the pairs, and that way I'll know how many I can have in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, this should be. If I count them, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. All right, I got them all. How many stars are there? I just counted them twice. There's 12. Is 12 an even number? Yes, it is because they're all we, because we have a pair. Everything is paired up. Uh, and it's we can see right here it was double six, right? Because there's six here. And six there, so six plus six, that's a double. Circle groups of two. Count by twos to see if the number of objects is even. Two, 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 two. Let's compare up there. Pair, pair, pair. All right, well, everyone's paired up, so it's going to be even. So how many twos are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. There are eight twos, and there are zero left over. Count by twos to find the total. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Right? If there's eight twos, it should be the same as two eights. So the group has an even number of objects. Is that true or false? Oh, it's true, right? Because we're counting by twos starting with two and uh, so, so that's and everything's paired up so we know it's even